Good morning again. So we're out here again this morning, um, still in lockdown, so out in the garden again this morning. Um, beautiful morning, a bit bright, a bit bright on my eyes to be honest at the moment, but uh, nice bright morning, lovely blue skies you can see in the background up here. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what we can pull out this morning. Um, next project I think, we're going to see if we can get birds in flight, get the garden birds in flight, and that's not going to be easy. Um, this was actually a, a suggestion from, uh, I think it was Ben Walker, one of my uh, one of my followers. Thanks, Ben, for that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we, it's not going to be easy, as I say. Um, particularly the small birds, they're really fast, really quick. Uh, going to be really hard to shoot them. So we're going to try a few camera settings. I'm going to let you know what I think are the best camera settings. See how we get on with it. Um, we've got quite a. a it can be quite difficult when it's bright like this because you've got quite dark shadows, you've got lights, you've got darks and everything else. So it can be quite difficult. So we're going to see what we can get. Um, I'm not going to say we're going to get this over one day because catching these birds in flights is going to be quite hard. So I think we're going to have to, you know, probably do this over a few days, get a compilation of photos together and then I can show you guys as we go through. Um, but if we get some, you know, on the day, that's fine. If not, it'll just be a collection over the days. So let's see if we can catch these birds in flight. Um, I don't know really, it's not gonna be easy. First thing we're gonna do before we do anything else, let's go and check the feeders and make sure we've got some food in them. Because without that, we're not gonna be attracting any birds. So here we are now, we're sat in the hide, um, just focusing on the back of the camera for you so you can see what we're trying to do here. Um, normally, you know, when I'm starting out, if I'm shooting and it's you know, still stuff or maybe a little bit of motion for wildlife, I normally start um, probably around about a thousand, um, thousandth of a second, uh, f6.3. Um, this, this lens is a 100-400 which goes down to 5.6 at 400mm. I normally come one stop off the bottom, so instead of 5.6 I'll go up to 6.3 because quite often you find with these lenses you just get a slightly sharper image if you just one stop, you know, you're not a really w the widest aperture you can be at, so just stop down one stop. Um, so I say, that's, that's normally where I'd start, you know, I'd be around about 800 ISO which would, you know, a nice bright day like today is going to give me plenty of light in there um, and, th and that's what you know when I'm out shooting for larger birds and stuff like that and that's normally a pretty pretty good setting for whether they're on the floor or whether they're up in the air and I think if you've seen some of my previous videos I've talked about the fact that you know you at a thousandth of a second you're ready for any movement but you can also then just drop the shutter speed down I'm, I'm normally working on uh, auto ISO when I'm out and about. So auto ISO will allow me to drop the shutter speed down, ISO will compensate and that will give me hopefully a balanced shot. 
what we're trying to do here is going to be a little bit different. Um, before I go on any further, I'll probably, let me just show you on live view what that's looking like at the moment. So, yeah, so on live view we can see um, we've got uh, the top of our perches here that we've we've made. If you've watched the last video, go back and if you haven't, go back and see it. Uh, I think it's one or two videos ago where we we made a, a natural perch for the garden. So go and check that out. Um, then we've got our fat balls here and what, what I'm looking for in this image is for the birds to fly in from this side um, and actually land on the feeders or on the perches and try and capture them as they're coming in uh, in flight or even hopping from the perches up to the feeders as well just that little short flight up to there uh, as they go. So as I say that's normal very general settings for me that tend to work quite well when I'm out and about. What we're trying to do here is obviously capture the birds in flight and these are the small birds very fast um, so it's going to be very difficult so to do that um, we've also got a, a quite a varying light condition as you look through there um, we've got sunlight coming from the right hand side so we've got some bright patches we've got some dark patches so again it's going to be difficult to expose for the birds and again you know it might be a blackbird that you know will, won't show up too much in the sunlight or it could be a blue tit or a goldfinch that's a lot brighter and will actually show up a lot more and potentially we could blow out some of the whites and the, the highlights if we're not careful. So I've had a bit of a play around with the settings um, over a period of time. As I say, this, this video is not just going to be one day, you know, capturing birds in flight. I'm going to have to take a lot of photos to try and get, you know, a few images. Um, so um, we've had a play around over a period of time um, so we've got a few different uh, different images. I think you know if we look at it, what we find in this sort of light, um, we're getting up to about uh, four thousandth of a second. Um, I'm going up sort of f8, f9, just to try and get a bit more depth of field um, because obviously the birds are flying in. You know we're just going to focus on one point and hope they pass through that focal point. There's no way we're going to follow these birds or track these birds or anything. Um, they're just too quick. So we're going to focus on one point. So we're going to F9 to give us a little bit more depth of field. Um, at one four thousandths of a second in, in, the, um, in the area we are here, um, we're going to be looking at, you know, I don't know, four thousandths of a second. When the light's duller, we might go up to 6400. We might have to go higher than that to get that four thousandth of a second. It is going to be quite difficult. We might get a little bit of noise coming in, you know, especially at those higher ISOs. So uh, potentially in post-processing, we might have to use a bit of noise reduction software to actually take some of that out as well. Um, so that is going to be quite difficult. So a nice bright day like today. Um, we're also going to be looking at our white balance, um, and you know we're going to be on daylight white balance because that's going to give us probably the best all-round uh, image. I'm shooting in RAW so I could go auto white balance and then I can adjust in post-processing but potentially you might be shooting in um, in JPEG so you might need to set your white balance prior to actually going into post-process. So next look at our, our shooting mode. So on AI server um, when I'm out and about I'm quite often on um, silent shutter so for this we're going to go to high speed continuous because if we're not on high speed continuous then I think we're going to have a problem you know we're not going to capture the birds as they're coming through um, so yeah just to reflect on those AI server and high speed shutter obviously this is a Canon camera so your camera might be different um, but they've all got similar sort of settings in them so just check you're on you know the fastest you know, we, we wanna, we, we're capturing some real fast action here so we're going to have to be shooting everything as quick as possible, as many frames as possible as they're coming through um, and just hope for the best really. So just to summarise now what we've got, we've got one four thousandth of a second, nice uh, fast shutter speed. We're on F9 which is giving us a little bit more of a depth of field. Um, we're currently at ISO 4000, if the light conditions change we'll probably move that around initially to try and just see, um, to, to adjust to the light conditions. Uh, we're on AI server, um, so that's going to give us continuous shooting um, and also continuous focus. So probably one thing I didn't mention is I actually use back button focusing. Um, 
there's plenty of um, YouTubes around where you can have a look at that if you want. Maybe I'll do a, something on that in the future. But back button focusing allows me to actually focus here rather than using the shutter release at the front. Um, so when I'm using this button to focus, I can uh, I can focus, I can release the button, and then it's going to stay wherever it's focused. If it's on autofocus, it's not actually going to move. Um, so we can just leave it sitting there and it won't be an issue or anything. So that's quite good to do that as well. Um, at this stage now I'm set up, um, I'm going to take a test shot. Okay, so we've got the test shot, uh, let's just preview that. Um, uh, that's not looking too bad. So you can see we've just got we've got what we call the blinkies on. So um, you can see where something's a little bit blown out. I think we're going to have to sort of accept that a little bit um, here because you know we've got some bright areas, we've got some quite dark areas. Uh, we just want to make sure that hopefully when the birds come in, we're not blowing the birds out. That's going to be the important thing, and that's going to be you know if it's a light coloured bird, we might have to. Um, drop that ISO so we don't blow the colours out on the bird. Um, if it's a dark bird we might have to up the ISO and just not worry about blowing out some of these highlights on some of these sticks and some of the fat balls and things that are here. Because um, that's not what we're worried about, you know, our target is to get the photos of the birds. We're not worried about the bird feeders, in fact we don't want the bird feeders in it. Um, we're probably going to just shift this a little bit to the left hand side when we shoot. Um, and then you know we've got that gap where we're trying to focus the bird, uh, focus on the birds, um, and then in post processing we'll probably just crop the image a little bit, just to uh, just to take the feeders and things out of it. Um, but they're they're just there really to entice the birds in and get them in the right area. And at the moment we're focusing um, just on the uh, on the actual um, fat balls there because they're sort of in the right sort of area where the birds are flying in. The birds tend to be flying in from the left hand side. Um, so you know, hopefully we're going to capture the birds around that sort of area. So it, it's going to be a challenge, you know, we're probably going to shoot, I don't know, three, four hundred shots to get one good one out of it. So now comes the hard part, capturing the images. So we're pre-focused, so we're hoping the birds are going to fly through that focus point that we've got there. Um, We've got a, an area we're aiming at, we're targeting that, um, where the birds will come through. Uh, we're hoping they're going to fly from the left to the right and come into the feeder that way. Um, and yeah, looks all quite good, uh, all set up. Um, it's going to take, as I say, a lot of shots. But once we're set up like that, all we're going to do, we're going to be ready. When the birds come in, it's just going to be a case of firing away and hopefully we'll get one comes through the focus point uh, and we get a nice sharp image. That's what we're aiming for. Well that's about it. So that's how we go about trying to catch birds in flight. Um, if I've missed any settings or you've got any comments at all, um, drop it in the comments below and I'll try and answer your questions. Um, and if there's anything else, you know, do let me know. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up please for me, that'd be great. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe um, where you can see some of my other videos coming along. Uh, and also go back and have a look at some of my uh, videos where I was setting up the garden so we could attract the birds in to try and get some photos. Um, uh, there's a few few weeks previous videos that um, will show that for you. So all I'm made is um, for me to say thanks for watching, uh, have a great day whatever you're doing and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now. Um, but back for Birkin. But bat bucking. But bat bucking. But bat.